You can earn $37,000 monthly with contact form marketing and direct outreach by getting leads for your business through selling products and services or affiliate marketing. We're going to talk about how to deal with duplicates in GSA and in Scrapebox in this particular video. So let me show you what I'm talking about, first of all, and then we'll jump into this. This is, let me refresh this, this is our Stripe account, um, one of the credit card processing accounts. And um, this is $37,000 in payments in the past four weeks. So we could go for like the past 12 months and see, you know, $678,000, et cetera, right? So anyways, last four weeks, $37,000, not trying to impress you, just trying to impress upon you that there are opportunities to make money utilizing different ways, uh, selling products and services, doing affiliates, um, whatever it is that you're selling or your business, you can use this even it works for local like roofers, etc. Right. So we'll talk about that. So that is me showing you here. Let's talk about the checklist. And yes, for just a moment, if you want this video as part of a series of videos I'm doing that is basically a free masterclass. I put up a masterclass, decided not to sell it, refunded everybody, and just decided to give it away for free and focus on other things. So that's what this video is part of the class that you're getting for free. If you head on over to contactchecklist.com, you can grab the whole thing. Obviously, it's a work in progress. I've got a, a very heavy duty newbie guide, an intermediate guide. I'm about to do an advanced guide. We've got some stuff on VPS and CAPTCHA solving. This video is on dealing with duplicates. There is links and resources for all kinds of different tools and resources and done for you stuff, etc. Um, even high speed list. There's an actual checklist of the steps you need to do. So still building this out, but head over to contact checklist. Wow. Contact checklist.com. And you can grab that for free while it is still for free. And then let's talk about duplicates in GSA. So GSA meaning specifically GSA website contact. That is this program here. Um, you may or may not be familiar with it, but there's a couple of different angles that we need to look at. So First of all, let's say that I have a project here and it's just test two project. Let's open it up here and clear this out here in the scraping tab. So this video is not about actual scraping. That's a different video. This video is about how to deal with duplicates and sort of think through that process. Because what you wouldn't want to do is let's say that I'm targeting roofers, right? I want to sell a product to roofers, right? Whether that's SEO services or whether that's, you know, it doesn't really matter if I want to come and wash their roofing trucks. It doesn't matter, right? I want to sell a product to roofers and I don't want to harass roofers, right? It's direct outreach. We want to go to, for example, um, I'm in Detroit. So let's say we want to go to all the roofers in Detroit. Okay. I don't know how many there are. Let's pretend that there is, is 1000 roofers in Detroit. Probably not that many. Let's go with 500. That's, that seems more realistic. So there's 500 roofers in Detroit. What I don't want to do is take roofer Bob's roofing service, for example, and send Bob 38 messages in one day. That would be bad. Um, I also don't want to send Bob the same message over and over again because I have a campaign running and I accidentally send Bob the same message 32 times in one week, right? You can market to Bob over and over again, and you should because of the rule of seven. If you're not familiar with that, you can Google it, the rule of seven in marketing. At any rate, um, you should market to Bob over and over again because uh, Bob isn't most likely to buy from you on the first time. He's probably going to take seven times, hence the rule of seven. Uh, before seven messages from you before he's going to buy from you. And so you don't want to send him the same message over and over again, though you want to change up the messaging because different people respond to different messages, different ways. And if you get an email campaign from a company trying to sell you something, they're going to give you different messages because they're trying to seem real and give you different information. They don't just send you the same email 32 times in a row. We don't want to do that. So let's say that I want to add roofers Detroit, right? This is a keyword. And then let's say I also want to scrape um, for, in general, all of the um, businesses in Detroit. Now, this may sound weird, but, um, right, okay, so let's say I'm scraping every business in Detroit plus Roofers Detroit. And again, this isn't a scraping video. It doesn't quite work like that. I'm trying to show you an example. You're going to wind up with duplicates, right? Because if I scraped every business in Detroit, it's also going to scrape ro scrape roofers. If I also then specifically scraped roofers in Detroit, it's going to wind up with duplicates, right? And so I don't want every time a URL shows up in the list, it has the potential of getting a message sent to it. So to avoid that, what the way GSA handles it is, by default, when you load URLs in here, whether you right click and import them from file or clipboard, that sort of thing, if you've like got one of the high speed lists, 
The link for that's in the description too, if you want a high speed list, um, or you've scraped up uh, a list of businesses in Detroit or your roofers or whatever, GSA automatically removes duplicates inside this project. And that holds true even if you start scraping now and you get a list of businesses down here and then um, like it, we can have a big list up here. Even if two weeks from now I continue to scrape and I scrape that list again, it's still not gonna submit to it again because it automatically removes duplicates inside of each project. Now, if I have test and test two, and they had the same message, um, GSA, that particular duplicate removal doesn't apply. So it's inside the project. So I have all these URLs, it's not gonna post them more than once, right? So if I wanted to make sure that across each project, like let's say I have a project all about all the businesses in Detroit, and the second project is just the roofers in Detroit, but I don't wanna send the same message because the roofers are going to be the roofers and the same roofers are also going to show up in all the businesses, right? But I only want to message them once. I go to options and I go to stop, or rather, sorry, it's on the global filter tab. I go to disallow different projects to send to, this, to, send to the same website. If I tick this, it not only removes duplicates from each individual project, it also removes duplicates across all projects. So if I have 20 projects in here. Now, no project can can contain the same URL twice total. So if I loaded in 5 million websites across 20 projects, they're all gonna be unique. It's gonna remove everything duplicate. So if the URL's in project one and it wants to go in project three as well, like I scrape it, it's just gonna remove it. So if you turn this option off, duplicate removal is inside individual projects. If you turn this option on, duplicate removal is across all projects. Let's say that you have, just because we're talking about this, a special case where you have like um, Remax Realtors, bad example, but it'll work. Um, on Remax's website, which I don't even know that GSA works with it, but you have, let's say you have 50 Realtors in Detroit. All the contact forms are on Remax.com. It's like Remax.com forward slash Bob, Remax.com forward slash Carol, right? So um, if you loaded all those URLs in, it's going to think that they're all from the same domain and it's going to remove the duplicates. So it's only going to keep one URL from remax.com because duplicates work on a domain level, generally speaking. So the way to turn that off under the filter tab is go to accept duplicate domains right here. You turn this on and then it will accept duplicate domains. So if this is checked, it's not going to remove duplicate domains for the project, right? means you can load in the same URL, 500, you know, tons of different URLs from the same domain, right? And so if every URL has, a, if you load in Bob's roofing site, right? And Bob puts a contact form in the sidebar of his website and you load in 50 pages from Bob's site, you're gonna submit the same message at the same time to all 50 pages, basically. And Bob's gonna get annoyed because you're gonna look like a spammer because you flooded his inbox with the same message 50 times right? So you only want to use this feature if you are in a situation like that. That's a special use case. Um, it's not common. So I would not turn that on unless you specifically need to. Anyways, duplicates are removed inside the project by default, and we can remove them inside of all projects by utilizing this. So that's how we remove duplicates if we're scraping and working inside of GSA. Again, if you import a uh, high-speed lists that you buy. If you import lists that you have, you can import two or three or four or five lists and duplicates are gonna get removed automatically. So next up, how do we deal with duplicates in Scrapebox? What is Scrapebox? You may or may not be familiar with it. Scrapebox is an extremely powerful program. In fact, I have a video showing Scrapebox scraping over 1 million URLs per minute, which is 60 million URLs an hour, more than that. But um, from Google. Now you need a lot of proxies and that's not practical, but the point is, is it's exponentially fine tuned to be massive high speed. So Scrapebox's users call it the Swiss army knife of SEO. And it quite literally has more than 10,000 different use cases. So it is not complex, but it, there's a lot of features and options. There's just massive amounts. Every single one of these that comes with it is a complete standalone program with it, its own features and it all comes with it. So it does like everything. Um, it is really good for scraping. And so in some of these videos, I'm going to go into how to scrape a scrape box. So let's say that I scraped up, uh, again, plumbers, Detroit, right? If I scrape plumbers in Detroit and 
I get a list of URLs here, for example. So let's just do it. And um, I'm going to give it a little bit more breath here. Let's give it a, let's give it 200. You really only get about 200 results from search engines these days anyways. Oh, my bad. Plumbers. Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Give that a second and let it grab some uh, results here. All right. It didn't quite come up with 200. It's fine. Um, oh, no, it did. I guess it combined them all together. Anyway, so let's send these back to the main grid and scrape box. We have something to work with here. So um, there's probably a lot of duplicates in here. If you want to remove duplicates in scrape box, again, we're working at the domain level. So remove filter, remove duplicate domains. If we remove duplicate URLs, that's like the whole um, long URL structure here. So it's like yellow pages forward slash C plumbing contractors, right? If I saw that exact URL multiple times as removing duplicate URLs, but when we're working with contact forms, we really only want to send it again, unless it's a special case like Remax, we want to send it to one domain. So now we have 95. We see we went from 200 down to 95 domains. So that's one URL from each domain. And then um, we can load in these exact URLs here. Um, and all we have to do is we can right click and copy all the clipboard and we can go to GSA and just import them. So if I go here, import URLs from clipboard, voila, now I have my URLs all imported in here, right? So we can just do that. You can also export them as a text file, or if it's massive, you can export and split them uh, because GSA is um, sometimes the projects generally don't want to load in more than 500,000 to a million URLs. Otherwise they could crash. Um, and eventually get slower over time if you load it, overload it too much. So you can, if you have a ton of a list, you can export and split. So there'll be more list management videos later on Scrapebox. I really just wanted to talk about, because it's super powerful for list management and a bunch of other stuff, but you can export and split, and then you can also remove duplicates domains here, and that way you're good to go. Another thing you could do is if you had a bunch of lists, if you wanted to, let me see if I can find some lists here. Um, let's say I have um, a, those are already probably, all these probably already have duplicates removed, but let's say I have this list here of URLs and I just want to bring in, if I've scraped a bunch of files and exported, like this is 3 million URLs, I can import multiple lists like that and then remove duplicate domains as well. Right. And so then it's going to go through millions and millions of URLs and remove duplicates. So as you get into larger lists, see now I'm down to like 2. I don't know, 797 uh, URLs. So anyway, Scrapebox can handle like 180 million URLs at once. Um, point being, that's how you move duplicates in Scrapebox. And so we've spent uh, like 10 minutes talking about removing duplicates and how that kind of works. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, also, there is a complete setup. Setup meaning we can just set it all up for you. So in the uh, description down below will be a link. Um, but we can actually go here and you can just jump over here and we will set up everything for you. So we'll build your entire server. We'll put the website contact down there and capture breaker and um, get it all set up to running leads and that sort of stuff. And it's just all done for you. So if you want a done for your setup, that's available as well. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, drop them down in the comments below. And then until the next video, happy earning. You can have even more and it's easy. There's a subscribe button down below. Find it now and click it right now. And after you click subscribe, click the bell right next to it. And now here's a couple other videos that YouTube thinks is best for you.